Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the VFX showdown and I know this is very long time I uploaded my last video on my channel because of that I have a lot of work in my personal projects as you guys know if you follow me on Instagram so I'm not talking too much and in this tutorial we are going to show you the 3D motion tracking inside of Buju so first thing we jump into the after effect and make a image sequence for the tracking footage so as you can see we have this footage just simply drag into the new composition so as you can see we have a phone and basically we have the four tracking markers you may think uh, if you have these four tracking markers so just track in two dimensional means x and y but i want to place a 3d object in the middle of the of this phone so i need a track in 3d space so as you can see this footage pretty basic motion but as you can see here the reflection in this glass make a big and huge difference so I want to track and place some 3d geometry in the middle of the phone so first thing I need to export this as a JPEG sequence or PNG so what I'm going to do just select and go to the composition add to render queue and select the JPEG sequence and just save where I want and hit render I already exported as a JPEG so I am not wasting too much time and jump into the Buju and as you can see this is the Buju interface this is the default Buju interface so I am not changing anything so as you can see this is the timeline and we have these options the tracking and the camera solve as you can see and we have this older this is the tracking target tracker and all the zoom sequence and models etc and we have here is the toolbox so as you can see these options are disabled because first we need to import the image sequence so as you can see the first option import sequence click on that and navigate where is your e sequence are and make sure the frame rate is matched so i'm go back in the after effects and just and as you can see if you select the footage you can see the 20.457 fps and inside the buju you can see the minimum frame rate is 24 so what i'm going to do here just select the footage right click go to the interpolate footage main and change here 24 frame so as you can see the footage is trim it so i'm going to the end press n right click trim comp to work area and we have a 24 frame per second footage so that's good okay go back into buju and as you can see 24 and everything's everything looks good except for this last frame so i'm going to one frame backwards so apply it and as you can see this is the last frame so apply and then close so we successfully import the footage inside of buju so as you can see if you open up the sequence you will see our clip and first i'm going to load the clip as you can see the green bar when i scrolling green bar is lighting up so i'm just play and let the buju to run the whole clip okay that's it now so as you can see this is our footage and if you want to zoom in press shift and just right click and you can zoom and while pressing the shift press the middle key on your mouse you can move around and if you press left key you can just play this play this like that so as you can see we have these tracking markers 
so you may think just track this uh, auto track means just track features and then camera solve and but as you can see let's track this phone so as you can see we have these markers and all that good stuff so let's find the nice frame maybe here and just as you can see the add track add target track option click on that and and now you can place a track so you may think we need to place in the middle because of this cross is too big the track will not accurate at all we need to place this track between these two colors so i'm going to place on top here so and zoom and just increase this guy and the middle one also like that and when i insert a tracker you can see in the bottom target track if you open up you will see the track one and it automatically set a keyframe so just simply go into the tt target tracker and you can see we have options this one is um frame by frame tracking back for backwards and forward and this is the forward tracking and backward tracking so first i'm going to backward and then we can go in the forward so and one good tip for that when you if you want to see the tracker whole time in the bottom you can see the lock icon just lock to point and if you press this the target in the middle of your view and you can always see the tracker and as you can see when i tracking you can see the some green line and some yellow lines so what that means if you have a lot of green lines while tracking which means you have a very solid track and if you have a very bad track it will get a red and in the between green and yellow it is good track so if you want a solid track just keep this score maybe 80 or 90 percent this means so green and yellow which means it's good so if you want a uh, uh, green so you can add a keyframe as you can see the add keyframe to the current frame if you do that and then press backward tracking you will see you will get a uh, green but not whole time you can see the my tracker is split so i'm going to undo and going here and track frame by frame because there is a lot of motion blur and if, if your tracker is split you can see we have this cross cross icon so we just click here and it will go back and keyframe automatically set so track again and just track backwards let's add a keyframe and track backwards and as you can see we have a very nice track so i'm going to go where i start and just increase the tracker like that okay and then track forward add a keyframe go by go frame by frame So as you can see and as you can see we have some red bad tracking frames so as you can see here so what you can do just go inside this frame and adjust your track so here and track one frame another go back here another this orange one set a keyframe and just simply track and 
and as you can see we have a pretty nice track so as you can see if I play this for you you can see this is pretty nice track so you need maybe 10 track to do a camera solve what I'm going to do just uh, forward this and track bunch of track over this uh, buttons and all the all these four trackings and then we will back soon okay so as you can see we have a lot of tracking so I think this this uh, may be 12 trackers so as you can see we just add our 12 trackers so, and as you can see not all trackers are completed track as you can see some middle area because uh, in the in in my finger so as you can see we track these three buttons and these four trackers on the top and also the corners the all four corners as you can see the bottom and also the top of the logo so as you can see this is stick pretty well if you lock this guy you can see and as you can see sometimes we not track that uh, because the light and the reflection make a huge difference different so as you can see the top one these three if I lock this as you can see and this top two also pretty nice track so when you track a bunch of 2d tracking so then you need to solve this to get a 3d camera solve so first as you can see the camera solve icon click on that and as you can see my sequence one all frames okay and just simply hit the start key and it will run and solve your all the data and once you uh, camera solve just select all the trackers like that and go into the sequence solve as you can see the panel over here sequence solve so and the sequence solve you can see the first you need to override the existing track checkbox because this camera solve so we have a camera and this will override the whole sequence so make sure you have you have in the first frame and click forward track this will calculate the, all the trackers and make a 3d world so once the sequence is finished you will see if you turn on the 3d view as you can see now we are viewing the 2d so if we switch to 3d you can see my camera over here so the, the same shortcut key press shift and left click you can move like that and right click to zoom and middle mouse key to pan like that so if i zoom you can see my camera and it's doing my hand movement so as you can see and we have this tracker as you can see the track points we just track it so as you can see pretty nice if we if i go to the 2d view you can see the selected track points and looks pretty good so go back and once you solve everything then you first thing you need to do go to the scene geometry as you can see here here we can define the x y and z so go inside the scene geometry and first thing as you can see the add coordinates hit add and as you can see the origin you can change over here so i'm going to add a maybe y axis okay and we need to select the y so where is the y okay so if you don't know how to set the scene geometry you can just simply add and then close this window go to the 3d view and as you can see here here as you can see x y and z so if you go like that you can see this is your y so this is Y so which means you need to select these two trackers maybe these four lines so I'm going to select these two trackers okay and go inside the scene geometry and Y is selected tracker selected you can see 
here is the button called connect to select it if i do that you can see the two track two tracks connected and then we need to update the coordinate system so as you can see this button update coordinate frame if i do this you can see my trackers is aligned perfectly in the ground as you can see so this is pretty good so we set the y y coordinates so then i need to set the x so as you can see if i go to the x you can see x over here so we need to select maybe these three trackers as you can see these three is perfectly aligned so if i select these three go inside the scene geometry and add coordinates again so now as you can see this is y also y but this is is connected so just say changes to x select connected select select these three and select connected so as you can see three is connected three trackers update coordinate system and as you can see my trackers going up so now we are setting and then i need to set the origin so go inside scene geometry again add coordinates and change this to origin and simply select these four let me select these four trackers because this is the this is my screen trackers so i'm going to simply connect these four updates coordinate system and close so we all set and then go inside the 2d and to see our trackers and how the scene geometry look like go inside 2d and we need to add some test object so inside the bujo you can do that pretty easily so as you can see the add test object over here just click on that and as you can see test object is added we can change over here any kind of stuff so i don't want anything so maybe this test object is good the default one just apply and okay and now as you can see this is pretty good and if i go to the 3d view you can see my object is placing in the middle and my camera is stop and four trackers but as you can see this is not in the middle of my scene so this is not a big issue so if i go to the 2d view and hit play you will see the object is perfectly stick to the ground of this uh, smartphone so this is pretty good so let's see if i want to scale this uh, test object so we have these options so transform basically you can move this like that so let's see we put this in the middle and as you can see now this is in the middle so let's scale this guy up like that and we have a pretty solid motion tracking or camera tech or camera tracking whatever you call so as you can see pretty good i'm very happy for the tracking so let's see if you want to export this in after effect and add some 3d text or model using element 3d so we need to export this 3d data so let's if you want to delete this model just right click on it and delete so what you can do is just select all the trackers and right click and make sure the flag to export is check as you can see now it is check if i click and select select again and right click as you can see now i need to check this check and then 
go to the top the export export camera solve and this window will appear make sure to export flag a track only checkbox and go to the change the after effect maya and the scale of the nulls may be 1000 and save where you want i already saved a file so as you can see i'm not do again so so guys thanks for watching so that's how you can extract inside of buju and uh, play some 3d geometry so as you can see this is pretty nice and powerful software for um, 3d motion tracking and all that good stuff so hope you like this video if you like this please give a like and subscribe to our channel to see more future content like that so as always we will see you in a way next one have a great day